everybody, what's going on today? Welcome to the channel. Today we're gonna to start something new on the channel, man. We're gonna do a little uh, 10 minute tutorials or less than 10 minute tutorials on PGA Tour 2K21. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy uh, enjoy the gameplay here on this game. I uh, hope you guys have checked the game out and uh, it's a lot of fun, man. It's a lot of fun. Golf, uh, golf has a skill gap now. It's not your Tiger Woods game. So uh, you guys do me a favor as always though, make sure to smash that like button, man. Subscribe to the channel, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. This is gonna be the first tutorial in a set of, uh, of many more to come. So uh, you guys definitely be sure to check that out. Uh, also, if you guys are interested in, uh, in a new gaming chair, a new gaming chair, Victorage Gaming, who I've got here uh, on my chair, I've uh, recently teamed up with them. You guys can see, uh, you can check out the code uh, Big Tom K uh, that you can use for 35% off your next gaming chair, your high-end gaming chair purchase. 35%, uh, man, pretty cool stuff. So the link is in the description, and the link to the Twitch channel too, where we do our streams on, is in the description as well. But so here's what we're gonna do, man. We're gonna start with the swing basics. We're gonna cover swing basics. Uh, we'll do we'll do putting in another uh, another video. Uh, clubs and shot types in another video and then advanced shots as well uh, but the most important thing and this alone will make a change in your gameplay uh, is the first thing that we're going to cover right here uh, as uh, as we go ahead and hop into into the uh, the practice mode or whatever right here uh, is uh, swing calibration swing calibration swing calibration swing calibration I cannot drive this home enough everybody Make sure that every day before you play this game or uh, go into any tournaments or play online that you go in here and do swing calibration every day. I'm not kidding. Uh, the way and the feel of your timing is going to be different each day. So make sure to go ahead and do the timing and just uh, and lock it up right here and get it in. Now we're just driving some balls here in the driving range. It's all you do for swing calibration. You're going to swing 10 times. Sorry, there's a little bit of lag on some of the video there. So we're just in practice, so it, it doesn't really matter right now. But uh, what you're going to do is you're going to take 10 swings. <coughs> excuse me. And uh, as you're swinging, you want to try to make sure you maintain a rhythmic a rhythmic balance right here with your, with your joystick. Uh, your backswing is nice and fluid. And when you get to the peak of the backswing, see, we, uh, we, we hit that one a little bit. We sliced that one a little bit. When you get to the peak of your backswing is right when you want to actually go forward on your forward swing. Now, I'm playing on pro difficulty right now. Uh, I have been advancing slowly over, over the last few days. When you start on beginning uh, be, or beginner difficulty, it is going to be a little bit, uh, it's, it's going to be easy. It's going to be easy. Look, it's straight up and down swinging. There's really no swing timing. Uh, you're, just, you're just hitting the ball. You're just hitting the ball and, you know, it goes pretty much where you aim, whatever. All right, when you go on to, uh, to amateur, it gets a little bit tricky, all right? Your backswing timing is a little bit more in play. As you move on to Pro-Am, your swing timing, forward swing and backswing are both into play. And as you move on to Pro, which you have to be on to be able to play online, dude, it's serious business, man. It's the skill gap. So uh, you want to make sure you calibrate your swing. I cannot drive this home enough. I really can't. It's so important. Sometimes it's easier for me. Uh, I use control freaks, but I haven't been using them and playing this because I keep knocking the control freak off the controller. Uh, but uh, but there we go. Swing calibration complete. Perfect downswing timing has been calibrated. All right. Uh, so we'll go hit a couple balls here. You'll see how the ball uh, is responding now to my uh, my forward and back swing. Uh, I like to sometimes just hold it like this and uh, pull back and swing as opposed to just doing it with the thumb. I feel like I, I slice or I hook the ball a little bit sometimes when I do it with just the thumb. So Maybe something you want to consider. Maybe something you want to try. Uh, just a little tip uh, trick that I've learned over the years. I used to do the same thing on Tiger Woods Golf uh, back in the day as well, too. So, uh, But we take some swings here. Also, when you're in the driving range, you can change the club that you're using. All right, so make sure that you guys are aware of that. You can change the club the same way you do in the game by using the up and down on the D-pad, uh, which is the D-pad right here. All right, so up and down on the D-pad. You can move up and down. You can change your clubs. I recommend if you're in the range. <coughs> if you're in the range, you can just uh, pretty much drive the ball. Uh, you, there's other ways to do chipping practice and, uh, and pitching practice, or pitching and chipping practice, and then also putting practice as well. So, um, you know, I recommend kind of doing that. But if you do want to go in here and, like, aim for little spots, that's okay, too. You know, you might get a little wind or something in here. So you can you can aim for your spots. We're not too far off of that one. I, I sliced it just a little bit, but it's not too terribly bad. And then, uh, you know, you can you can switch to whatever and aim 
Uh, like, we're going to aim for this golf cart, okay? We're going to aim for the golf cart. I want to try to hit the cart over here. See if we can uh, see if we can hit the cart. I wish they were moving, so you had a moving target to try to hit. We sliced the hell out of that one doing that one, so that one wasn't very good. So that one I did just like this with the thumb. Uh, so now I'm gonna go straight up and down like this and see see how for me it feels like I was a little fast on the uh, on the forward swing, but it's I feel like I'm a little bit more accurate with my swinging. So definitely something to keep in mind. Uh, I would recommend uh, taking a look at there and seeing if. Uh, uh, see if you can get it. This is why you don't want to putt in here, all right? You don't want to putt in here because the ball's not going to be more. There's nothing to aim at. So if you guys are interested in, in putting practice, though, you can back out here uh, and go to the practice menu. And then you're also set up with driving range, chipping practice, and, like I said, putting practice. So it's right there. It's right there for you, all right? The other thing we're going to cover in this video, because we are just covering the basics, is going to be in this practice section right here. Uh, if you go, or excuse me, if you go to lessons, you can go to swing basics. So that's what we're going to cover. We're going to cover swing basics. We're just going over the basics of the game. You can pick up the game, follow these steps, and you should be able to play pretty decent, all right, uh, on beginner, on beginner, but uh, slowly increase maybe every four to five levels. So welcome to lessons of swing basics. This lesson will teach you the basics of hitting the ball, reading swing accuracy, and managing, <clears throat> excuse me, swing timing, all right? Look, I'm not going to read all of these to you. You guys can read all of this, uh, but it is pretty much teaching you how to move the ball, uh, move the, the club straight up and down and how to swing. Uh, it's, it's eventually going to teach you a little bit more in the advanced uh, lessons because timing comes more into play. Lose my voice. Sorry. But, uh, but yeah, so these are really quick. Uh, it wants you to stay dead centered with your pullback and your uh, swing forward in the swing plane right there. Uh, so that one's pretty simple. This one's trying to get you to get a perfect, uh, perfect downswing timing. And uh, I didn't, I didn't, I got slow, but it still worked. It still worked. So that's it right there. This concludes the lesson on swing basics. Uh, pro tips, fast downswing timing equals a draw or a hook to the ball. Slow downswing timing equals a fade or a slice. And overswing is distance, uh, plus distance, plus spin, and plus difficult. So Look, there's a lot of things we're going to get into in the advanced techniques and the advanced steps. Right now, we're just in the easy ones, the basics. Hope you guys enjoyed this video today. You guys do me a favor. As always, man, make sure to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel, man. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And like I said, catch me on Twitch, man, at BigTomK22. The link's in the description below. And use that code, man, 35% off your gaming share. That's insane. Uh, so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks, guys. Peace.